All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week we are cooking the fridge. That's where I kind of get everything out of the fridge that needs to be eaten, and we transform that into an incredible dish. So this week we're gonna make leftover lamb linguine, packed full of flavor explosions. I'm talking chili, garlic, rosemary, parmesan, lemon, all good things that work with lamb. And guys, this is an incredible way to transform a tiny amount of meat into a meal that's gonna easily serve six people. So come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab four courgettes or zucchini, and I wanna chop those up into a small dice. Okay, let's pop those aside and grab a large sprig of rosemary. Now using your fingers, let's just slide them down to remove all those leaves. And, uh, oh, hello. pick a boo Okay, now grab your knife and I wanna really finely chop them up. Now I've got a pan on the stove, but I actually haven't turned the heat on yet. And that's because we're gonna make a lovely chili and rosemary infused oil. Now let's add a really good glug of oil. And if you're wondering why there's so much uh, oil in this, that's because it's gonna be almost like a dressing to cling to all the pasta when it goes in there. Now let's also add all of that finely chopped rosemary, a really good pinch of chili flakes. And now I'm gonna turn the heat on and I wanna set that on a really gentle heat. And we wanna let that take its time to build up the temperature, and as that does, it's gonna pull out all those lovely flavors from the rosemary and the chili, and they're gonna start frying there so we get that beautiful flavor into the oil. Okay, that looks amazing, and it smells absolutely incredible. So let's get all the courgettes in there. I wanna move that around. We're gonna keep that on a gentle heat, and I wanna cook that for about five, six minutes. Now I've got the leftover roast lamb here and I want to roughly chop that up to about the same size as the courgette. And what you find is that when you chop that up nice and fine, you get a little bit of lamb with every bite. Okay, that looks great, so let's get the lamb in there. I want to turn the heat up a little bit and we're going to cook that for about three or four minutes and just keep moving that around so we can start getting that lamb flavor combining with the chili and the rosemary. Oh, guys, this is gonna be so good. We need a good pinch of salt, two big fat cloves of garlic. Let's roughly chop them up. I wanna get them in, mix it all together, and we're gonna let that cook for just another couple of minutes. I've also got some leftover peas, so let's get them in as well. That all looks great, so let's knock that off the heat. I'm just gonna zest over one lemon. Let's add in the pasta some Parmesan cheese and some arugula. Now let's mix that all together and let's plate up. Here we go, guys. Guys, I love these type of pastas. I mean, just the way that that oil kind of clings to the pastas, so you've got that lovely base flavor of chili and rosemary. Then you've got the, uh, the lamb coming through, you know, roast lamb uh, with that, and then the garlic and the Parmesan. Oh, heaven, absolute heaven. So guys, give us a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Love hearing from you guys. And I do apologize if I've been a bit slack getting back to people recently. As you can see, I'm a little bit busy with all the kids, but um, hey. I'll get back to you at some point. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. I can't get over how many new subscribers are coming on every single week. So thank you so much for all your support. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of that. Cheers guys, take care, bye bye.